So I've just received my Trezor Model T Edition. Um, arrived in a couple of days, um, literally been out a couple of days. Um, so really good delivery times. And this is the first time I'm going to be unboxing it. So as you can see here, there's a pretty slick box. Um, cellophane wrap, which I will undo. Potentially could have done this earlier, but we'll get it done. <laughs> There we go, the seal is broken. So as we can see here, we have a nice slide out box, a safe place to keep your coins, and our first look at the Trezor Model T. So what we will do is open that up, and we can see here the instructions for getting started. So connecting, uh, opening the web browser and following the instructions we can see there's a security sticker here um, to, that I guess is to prevent people from tampering with the device before it's arrived and um, this is a little bit more secure I think than the um, ledger version which the security seal was on the box itself this you can see is on the device although any seriously dedicated person could probably print off their own stickers um, but it's nice to see so let's see what else we have in here. Uh, we have a box containing the USB cable, um, user manual, recovery seed card. So I will open that. And then here we have the USB. A nice Trezor sticker, I believe this is. Another sticker. Uh, the manual for getting started, recovery seed card. So this is where you write your, your seed words um, that will give you access to your cryptocurrency. Um, and you'd store this in a safe place like a bank vault or something, uh, to a safety deposit box. And there's an additional uh, recovery card. So that is if you, I guess, have multiple seeds or you want to keep them in different places. And here we have a third sticker and a fourth sticker. So lots of stickers, a um, couple of seed cards, the manual, and of course the, the Trezor Model T itself with the nice CE mark there. So there you have it. This is the unboxing of the Trezor Model T. And in another video or in a few minutes, I will go through the actual setup of the device and what's possible there.